today, day 59. 59 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. Put the camera on, we'll get going. Ranger's hiding the uh, yard guys here. Probably under the couch or somewhere. I will leave him be. Check on him when I get back. The yard guy's still not here. It's the arch nemesis, the yard guys. All right, let me start the timer. We'll get going. All right, let's get going. Nice and sunny today. A little bit of clouds, but it's basically clear blue. All right, put in your guesses how long I'll go, how long it'll take. Two Teslas right off the bat. One, two. Better put the over under of Teslas at ten and a half. Put in your guess how far I'll go, how long it'll take. Yeah, I'm gonna do at least 1.15 today. How many Teslas will we see? Ten and a half. How many dogs? Uh, I don't know. Let's say four and a half. How many Mustangs, Camaros? Four and a half. How many delivery trucks? Mail trucks, three and a half. Let's see what we see. Oh, we see something. What did we see yesterday? Oh, we saw that 47. 1947 Lincoln Continental yesterday and uh, I call it a 65 Mustang but apparently it was a 64 and a half which they made some in 64 so some of the first Mustangs came out in 64 but it's not really a, an official category 65 Mustang but it's a car shop but I didn't even really know it was just about got a couple blocks away that it's always has some working on some old cars so yesterday it had the 64 and a half mustang and the 47 lincoln continental and i looked that up i thought they'd be worth a lot of money but apparently they're only worth about 25 thirty thousand dollars it was really surprising it looked like a really nice car Built like a tank. Somebody hit you in that, you wouldn't even know it. Yellow, factory yellow. This is an interesting color, and uh, it's one of the first cars they started making again after World War II ended, I guess, 47. Because they didn't make any cars during the war. So, uh, let's just start going by that car shop every couple weeks. Uh, it's about a week or week or two ago I saw the 53 Corvette. Only 200 in existence. 53 Polo White. It was the first year they made Corvettes. So that was cool. So they always have something interesting over there. It's like that other car shop I go to, a car garage, where they always have the exotic cars, Lamborghinis and Maseratis, Ferraris. And we've been over been over there in a couple of weeks. There's a Ferrari right there. Yeah, maybe we'll cross in front of it and see. The light's going to change. I don't know if I'll make it or not. I have to pick up the pace. Should be able to get up there. Get across the street. A red Ferrari. on the street. But that's a car shop over there. Uh, every couple weeks I'll go over there. Last time I had a saw an orange Lamborghini, two Maseratis, five Ferraris. 
They always have exotic cars over there. And then that other car shop I go to is right down the street there. Cars Automotive. They have the American, uh, vintage American cars. <clears throat> that car, that place is just called Cars Automotive. There goes the Ferrari. And the uh, exotic car shop is called, uh, car garage called, I think it's just called Fast Cars. So they both have a kind of generic names. Not going back by the car shop today. I was just there yesterday. There goes another Tesla number three. Let's see what kind of things we see on this trip. I already saw the Ferrari. Like kind of a younger guy driving it. I think a tune-up on a Ferrari is like Fifteen or twenty thousand dollars. I have a lot of money just to maintain a Ferrari. Let alone if you can afford it. Number four Tesla, right there. Let's see if we make the over. Ooh, look at this. This is a BMW two-tone. Look at that thing. Got to be custom. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, two-tone. Interesting. All right, walk up here and see what we see here today. Let's see. You know what? Let me see. Yeah, I gotta walk up this street. Let's see what's going on up here. Here comes the first delivery truck, of some sort. It's a different one. Aramark. I guess that's delivery. I'm not sure what that is. delivery truck I think. I don't know, they must be delivering something heavy. They got a big uh here's a Maserati. This looks like a normal sedan though. They used to make good looking sports cars. And now it seems like they make boring sedans. It looks like a, a Honda, Tesla, everything else. It's not that exciting. In the back of it. If you didn't know, it's, if it didn't say Maserati, it looks like a Honda. Ugh. All right, I guess we'll walk down up, down this way and then back the other way because go against traffic. All right, see what we see down here. Bunch of white and black cars right off the bat. Always some. Got a nice little Easter wreath there. There's a Bronco. Every now and then we'll see a Bronco fairly often. Not every trip, but almost every trip. Broncos are super popular now. Windy today. Nice and warm, but I mean nice and sunny, but kind of cool and windy. Another Tesla, what's that, five? Five Teslas, no dogs, one Ferrari. One Maserati. It doesn't really look like us. Maserati looks more like a family sedan. the car get out of the middle of the road here comes a runner well look like a runner he's just running to his car stopped here he comes again that's not a runner well is it a runner in jeans there's a gate like a runner but he's wearing jeans 
and he stopped. Uh, I'm not, that's, that's, that's weird. Here comes the first dog. It's a pretty dog. It's an old VW bug. late 60s, maybe early, late 60s, early 70s, it's a big tail light, in the 70s, the big tail lights always, bigger the tail lights, later in the model, in the 70s had the big tail lights, I don't know if they still made the BW bug in the 80s, I know they stopped at one point, and they brought them back I think in the 90s. You'll see quite a few of them around. I don't see them every trip I go, but I see them pretty often. I almost did a half a mile. Guess we have to go to the end of the block and turn around. Woof! Car bottomed out. Gotta slow down, buddy. Go too fast, you're gonna bottom out. Hard on the bottom of the car. All right. The car that bottomed out was yesterday, day before, day before, I think. Yeah. Scared me to death. Way too fast, hit one of those dips in the road and meow. <laughs> Here's a second delivery truck, number two. Post office. All right. Go up there and look at that. There's a, a charger, I think. I guess I'll go look. Turn around. Is that army? Is that a charger? A Dodge Charger? It's army. Army green and black, two tone. Muscle car. Definitely a newer car in the last few years. Yeah, it's a Charger. No, it's a Challenger. Not a Charger, a Challenger. Hemi. Dodge Challenger. I'm not sure what the difference between a Challenger and a Charger. Big car. Heavy. Shaker, it says. It's a big engine. Doesn't say Dodge anywhere, but I'm sure it's a Dodge. And it says Chrysler Dodge on the front. Alright, turn around here, head back up the other street, see what we see there. The Texas, big Texas truck there. Everything's bigger in Texas.
Feels warmer heading back. Let's see what we see down here. I we see something. Now write down on your comments how many days in a row you've walked. 10th day, 20th day, first day. It's day 59 for me. 59 consecutive days of doing walking at least one mile. Seen all kinds of interesting things in just these last two months. Was it two or three days ago? Was it saw that uh, nice couple they had a blue jay, wild blue jay that would come and eat out of their hand. You'd eat peanuts out of their hand. And they let me try it and the bird flew right to my hand and uh, ate peanuts out of my hand. Pretty bird. That was a couple days ago if you want to see that. They didn't call it a blue jay. I forgot the name of it. Up oh, there's the third delivery truck of the day. I'm going to put the over under at three and a half. Already at three. That was very neat. I have to go by there again sometime soon and check out the bird. Is that another Tesla? Is that six? Yep. I think that's number six. We might make it to ten. Might make the over. I think I said ten and a half. So the 47. Lincoln Continental. Oh, they, I looked that up too. They started, uh, I think the first year they started making Lincolns was 38. 1938. And then they stopped during the war, World War II. And then they started again. I don't know if 48 was the first year. I think they said that was the last year they put a V12 in the Lincoln. I said a V12 engine. And that, that car was big. So, but they weren't worth that much. It was a good looking car though. See that yesterday and see the Blue Jay. It was Sunday. Made two videos on Sunday. Let's see what's going on up through here. Big hill. There'll be a lot of pretty blooms on that tree shortly. Had a lot of rain this year, so flowers are going to be gorgeous. Has purple blooms there. Front of the church. They have a lot of blooms on it. This one's blooming even more. Look at that. Got a lot of bees on it. So that two-tone BMW over a minute ago. That was interesting. Custom, obviously. I never seen a two-tone. One side was tan and black. One side was tan, the other side was black. Tan and black. I think that's a drink. Black and tan. Alright, what is this? Kind of a brown, metallic brown Jeep of some sort. Wrangler. Yeah, another delivery truck. It's four. Bronze, I guess you'd call that color. Kind of a unique color. Bronze, I assume. 
<laughs> Look at those two trees they lean out. Interesting. And bloom in purple is pretty. Look how they lean. Both of them. <laughs> like they're perpetually wind blown. Here, in our 50s, I think. What is this? Uh, I don't know. It's a car from the 50s, I think. Chevrolet? I don't know what it is. I'm gonna find out in just a second. I don't know. It's from the 50s though. What's going on here, street cleaner? I'm not sure what kind of car this is yet. Yeah, I sure made big cars back then, that day. Before the energy crisis. It is a... It's a... Ford Galaxy 500 XL. <laughs> Looks like it's been driven quite a bit. You still be driving it today? There's some cigarettes in there. Back when this thing was going, it was always smoking unfiltered. They got it. They got it tagged for this year, so I guess they're still driving it. Camel, Lucky Strike. They got some type of natural cigarettes. I'm sure, that's not what they were smoking when they drove this back in the day. Lucky Strike, Camel, 350. It's a Ford Galaxy. It doesn't say Ford anywhere, but 99% sure it's Ford made it. I don't know. It doesn't say anywhere. Wow. I think he's still driving it today. Driving it till the wheels run off. like a lot of the old cars you see are another Tesla what's that I don't know seven eight are uh, always in really good shape but every now and then you'll see when it's not in so good a shape we saw that Ranchero there's another Tesla is that nine eight nine uh, Ranchero the other day it was not in good shape as a worker it looked like he was still using it to haul wood or something that one it just looked like he was just driving it's in the 50s I, think. I don't know let me know if you know what year it was I think it was Ford Ford Galaxy sounds right but it did not say let me know if you know. Alright. There goes another Tesla. I think that's number nine. Nine Teslas three or four dogs four delivery trucks one Ferrari Yeah, 
nice and warm now. I had to take off my jacket. Yeah, let me know the oldest car you've seen on your walk. You walk around a lot of cars. Have you seen them? Car, any cars from the 40s or 30s? Maybe a Model A, Model T? That 47 I saw yesterday is the oldest one I've seen so far. I've seen a few from the 50s and a lot from the 60s and 70s. Oh boy, I'm not going to make this light, I don't think. I have to kick it in. Let's see if we can get across before it turns yellow. Turning yellow! All right. Just me. Lucky. Now we can go this way. Yeah, we need to see one more. What is that? That's a Corvette. Look at that. Great Corvette. I didn't even recognize it. It must be within the last few years. We need to see one more Tesla to get to 10, I think. It's a bright blue Porsche four-door sedan. Porsches are going the way of the Maserati, all sedans, four doors, family cars. They're not built for speed. Now, well, I don't know if we're going to see another Tesla or not. It might be under the ten and a half. We need to get two more to get over. Well, let's see if one comes through here. No Mustangs, no Camaros today. That's unusual. It's either a Charger or a Challenger. I don't know which one it is. It is a, it's a Dodge. I don't know if it's a Charger or a Challenger. I didn't even know they made Challengers. I thought they were all Chargers. I don't know the difference between the two. Yeah, it looks like we ended up with nine Teslas today. He was about right on the dogs and the delivery trucks. Unless we see another. Oh, is that the one that moved on the, and that one more on this last half a block walk. And let's look at all these little palm trees. Maybe they keep the top cut. Cut are they? cut down so they don't get big but I don't know maybe they just planted them within the last 10 years or maybe they're miniature palm trees I don't know Look at these big pine trees up here they drop a lot of pine cones every now and then we'll get a pine cone from up here all right and plants to cut back this year all the rain all right Here comes somebody delivering something sparkle it's water uh oh yard guy still here now the ranger will probably still be hiding Ranger 
hates the yard guy. the water truck here all right if you guessed one point if you guessed 1.41 in 30 minutes and 11 seconds you are the winner nice sunny walk today beautiful uh, the guy's in the yard right now. I'm gonna have to wait a minute. Let's see if Ranger's hiding down here. Probably under the couch. Well, if you like the videos, subscribe. Check back tomorrow. New video every day at 10 a.m. 59 days in a row, almost at 60. Let's see if I walk around down here for a half a second till he gets out of the yard. All right. Check out some of the other videos. If you want to see that 47 Lincoln, yellow Lincoln Continental. That was yesterday. I'll put a link to another video you might like here at the end. How you doing? All right. And that's pretty much it for today. Ranger must be hiding. Must be under the couch or up on the rail or back in the back hiding. I don't know where he's at. He hates the yard guy. Yeah, he's hiding somewhere. I don't know where he's at. All right, we'll have to check back with him tomorrow. And that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, I was going to see if Ranger would come. I don't know where he's hiding. He sees the yard guy's gone. He might come. Still no sight of him. He must be hiding from the yard guy still. Sometimes he'll come flying over that fence. Let's see if he's up here. There he is. What are you doing, buddy? Come on in. He's looking for the yard guy. Yard guy's gone, dude. You, you have a good place to hide today? That's a nice sun for you. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Yard guy's gone. He's gone. <laughs> you still looking for him? He's not coming back in here. You're safe. 
All right, that's it. See you tomorrow. Bye.